I got a lot of comments on my electronic bed leveling tool telling me there's no way it can be accurate because it's got a switch on it. So I built this dial indicator mount and I wrote some G-code so I can test this over and over again and see how accurate it is. So let's try it out right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This is my electronic bed leveling tool. I showed this in a previous video. It has a switch that lights an LED. You place it under the nozzle at a fixed offset and adjust the bed until the light just begins to turn on. Here's the dial indicator mount that I created in Tinkercad. It's designed to fit the Ender 3 V2. I also added a plastic screw and nut. The dial indicator used is shown here. I'll put a link to it in the description below. To assemble it, the dial indicator pushes into the mount, and then the screw and nut hold the dial indicator in place. You can use a flathead screwdriver to tighten the screw. The assembly press fits over the Ender 3 V2 fan shroud. I wrote a simple G-code file to home, and then position the nozzle over the adjustment knob, and then pause. Then I can slide in the electronic leveling tool and adjust the knob until the LED just begins to light. I press continue and the dial indicator is positioned above the adjustment knob the first time the dial indicator is reset to zero. Then I click continue and the movement repeats. I spin the knob so I get a new bed level adjustment. After that, I press continue to see how much different the adjustment is. In this case, it's only slightly off zero. Before I test this, I want to make sure that this setup is actually reliable. Now the resolution of this gauge is 0.01 millimeters, so anything less than that is not possible. So as long as I'm seeing 0.01 and nothing greater, that's essentially spot on. So I'm going to run this just back and forth without measuring, just to see how consistent this is first. I run the G-code again, reset to zero, and let it jump back and forth to see how consistent this setup is. I let this run three times. Each time it moves above the knob and then measures the error. As you can see, each time I'm getting 0.01, so it's consistent. So I can trust this setup, so now I can test the electronic tool. So now that we know that it's consistent, now I'll introduce this tool and human error because I'm the one adjusting the knob. I ran the G-code again and I adjust the knob until the LED just begins to light. Then I'm going to zero the dial indicator after it positions over the knob. Then I randomly move the knob and readjust the bed again to make the LED just turn on. I press continue and the dial indicator shows the error, 0 0.01 millimeters. Not bad. So let's do it again. I randomly move the knob and then adjust to just turn on the LED. The dial indicator says I'm off 0 0.02, so slightly more error. So let's do it again. I randomly move the knob, adjust so the LED just barely comes on. The dial indicator shows 0 0.02. So I would say that's human error. That's got nothing to do with the switch. So there you have it. It's pretty accurate. And you may say, well, you only did it three times. No, I did it hundreds and hundreds of times trying it out. I couldn't believe how accurate it was. I kept getting the same results. So rather than bore you with a hundred of the same, I just showed you a sample. I think I've only had two cases where it went to 0 0.04. And that was just, I was a little bit off in the adjustment, but overall, what you saw, that's what I'm getting with this thing. So it's more human error than it is the switch, but it's pretty accurate to use this. But it also made me wonder how accurate am I with a piece of paper? So let's try that next. Now I'll do the same procedure, but I'll use paper instead of the electronic leveling tool. I'll adjust it until I feel a slight resistance on the paper. The dial indicator will then lift and move above the adjustment knob and then we'll zero this. This will be our base. So zero that, and now we do it again. So it's going to position over the knob, randomly move the knob, and then bring the paper in until I feel resistance, and now it's going to tell me my error. 0 0.01. So let's do it again. 
slight resistance. What's the error? 0, 0.0, spot on. One more time, 0 0.02, same as I got with the leveling tool. So there you have it. I'm pretty accurate with a piece of paper, but then I've been doing this for years. I've got that feel down. But for a beginner who doesn't have that, I think the LED method works really well. Just turn it until that LED just turns on and you'll be consistent. So there you have it. The switch is accurate. Of course, I already knew that. I was using this thing long before I made that video. So I knew how reliable it was. And I've used it on my various machines and it works really, really well. But it's the same technology that's in the stop switch that everyone bases their bed level off anyway. So I knew we we're on the right track. But this way you know how accurate it is and you've got a free dial indicator mount that you can download. I'll put a link to this in the description below along with the screw and the nut. I also made one for Ender 3, so I'll put that, a link to that in the description below. Download them for free, print them, try it out yourself. Now the dial indicator, I put a link to the one very similar to what I used here in, a, in the description below as well. So if you want to buy one. I am working on a version 2 of this guy and we're also looking into assembled units so you don't have to solder it together. That's all coming down the road, but so far it's been pretty popular. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.